What is up people? I'm Two Point Bow and today I hope you've got your panties on as a hat and your watermelons all po polished up because we are diving into a new world as we look at Heaven's Lost Property. So without further ado, this is Heaven's Lost Property. Off the tracks. Now this series begins with the introduction to Tamaki Sakurai who is a perverted, lazy high school student with a heart of gold that suffers from a reoccurring dream that he doesn't understand. But with the help from his friends Ishiro Sigata and Mikako Satsukitane, he is then convinced to go check out an atmospheric anomaly that is taking place not far from his house on a grassy knoll, which he then proceeds to nap on. After a couple of hours of absolutely nothing happening and him falling asleep, suddenly an unexpected turn of events happens when an angel-like creature known as an angeloid falls from the sky and then proceeds to do absolutely anything that he says. Now that's quite the present. From that moment on, let the harem begin because chaos ensues and that's where you guys come in to watch the series. The good. The bad. The dubbers. Our characters today are Tomoki Sakurai, who is performed by Greg Ayers, whom you might know as Kaoru from Oran High School Host Club, Yukio Tanaka from Beck, one of my favourite animes, and one of Criddle's favourite animes is Initial D, where he plays Kenta. Next up we have Sahara Mitsuki, who is played by Trina Mishihura, whom you might know better as Millie from Trigun Badlands Rumble, and not to mention Mikasa from Attack on Titan. My god. Yeah. Then we have Ishiro Sugata, who is actually voiced by one of the greatest, Eric Vale, whom you might know better as Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, or if for those of you who are into more of the harem and laughter type animes, he is also Canada slash America from Hetalia. Next, we have Mikako Shitsukitane, who you might know better as Janie Marchi, or if you don't do the voice actor research like we do, then you might know her better as Shoko from Baka and Test, Summon the Beasts, or Liz Thompson from Soul Eater. That's right, she is one of the Thompson twins. Well, not really twins, because it's short and tall and bust and that's not symmetrical but that's not the point. And finally we have Angeloid herself Icarus who is voiced by Brittany Kabowski who you might know better as Black Star because he's the biggest star on Soul Eater and Wendy Marvel who is the nice and quiet and very friendly girl from Fairy Tale. Now my fi final thoughts on this anime is I loved it. It was very funny. It, when there wasn't chaos ensuing, it had a very nice story, and it was very feely around its story as well. There was a lot of love, and there was a lot of angst and drama, uh, but then when the chaos ensues, it's nothing but hilarity. Seriously, I urge you all to check it out, because I'm giving it a 7 out of 9 angels today. Get it? Angels, angeloids, this is funny. But, I've been Two Point Bow, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.